what is up fish and peeps we are out on san diego bay first day on the new paddleboard check this guy out boat hd 12 footer we got it all rigged up uh we did screw up and forget like water and you know my paddleboard shoes and a couple other things so uh this is a little bit of a bummer but either way i'm back on the water i'm pretty pumped um we we're supposed to be trying to fish in the fish all contest that's got going on right now but i forgot my measuring tape as well so we're just gonna go fish and uh, see what happens so let's get on the water and see what we catch around the mouth of this cove. Tide looks like it's starting to push out a little bit. Grass getting bent over. About one billion mullet around me. About a dollar for every mullet I saw. I'd be freaking filthy rich. There we go. We own. Probably have the spotty kind, but pretty pump. Oh, decent spotty right there. So right now the fish oil contest is sitting at a 14 inch spotty. That's the I mean, somebody will probably get a bigger one, but that's like the, the size right now. I wear a size, this is a size 9 shoe. Let's see how big that gets next to my size 9 shoe. So he's a decent, you know, my, right there. Goes up, uh, goes up, what, a couple inches past my shoe? Let's measure that when we get home. I bet you that's like a, that's probably a 13 inch spot. He'd be pretty close. Stupid me, stupid me. Right there. He's skinny, but he's super, super long. So, good little spotty. All right, let's start. This river mouth and work it out. Tide's pushing out a little bit now. Wind is pushing me out, so I'm just gonna drift. Let the wind drift me. I'm gonna fish this till I get out to the channel edge, and then I'll fish the channel edge in the hopes that those fish are hanging out on the outsides of that channel edge waiting for all the bait and stuff to come get flushed out of here. I can see the grass is bent a little bit right here so we know the water is starting to push out. Probably hasn't started pushing too hard yet. I do want a little bit of moving current. That'll kind of... Oh. We just got a hell of it right there. I watched him come up, follow it. I watched him follow it. I paused the bait. And he smacked it. All right, he's not a big one. He's not illegal, but he's got tons of little bait in his mouth. Look at that. Quick release. You got to see him. Little guy, but that was so cool. Love being able to see the fish. Chase the bait up, know what to do. Just paused it, he ate it as soon as it sw uh, swam down. Oh, what a cool little bite, what a cool little bite. Sweet, I already hooked up on a hell of it. That's cool. Oh, there we go, there's a fish. Oh, did he get off? He got off. Wow, I wonder what that one was. I don't know. That was super cool. Didn't get to see that fish, but it did feel either. Oh, there was another nice halibut that followed us up. All right, we're gonna anchor down here and see what we can do. <coughs> that halibut wasn't legal, but still, if we can get on it good bite of small halibut i will freaking take that in a heartbeat heartbeat this board spin around <clears throat> he 
followed the bait up until he saw me and then he kicked out. But lets me know I need to I need to pause the bait a little bit more often. Got the swim going, but gotta let it get a little pause every once in a while. I want to jump down on it. All right, back on the drift. See what we can get. Current kind of push us along, see what kind of other small halibut are flowing through here, maybe some spotties. Corvino would be pretty cool. A jerk bait would be epic right now. It'd be perfect over this grass. That would be the, the money maker. It's pretty shallow, it's only a couple feet. It's actually deeper back behind us where the mouth kind of starts. And then it goes to this kind of shallow section and it drops out to the channel out here. So kind of just fan casting over this shallow spot. Kind of checking along the edges whenever I can to see what's hanging out. That's where those halibut are going to be. They're going to be on those little grass edges there. Spotties will probably be in the pockets or in the grass itself. Corvino will be perusing up on top of the grass. If you get lucky, you'll find a bonefish or a yellowfin croaker. They're a little bit less known on what spot they're going to be sitting at. Body roll. A little dinker. Not the size we're looking for. Honestly, though, we were out just catching fish today, so I'll take it. Way decent back face body right there. Look how yellow this guy is. Check out the colors on him. That is wicked. I don't know if that means that they eat more crustaceans or sitting in the sun or what, but check out the colors on that spotty. Oh, super yellow on the bottom, dark on the sides. Cool looking fish. Super cool looking. again <laughs> super light rod light line -hoo -hoo. It's a little spotty fist I'm sure anybody watching from Florida is like why are you excited about this like nine inch little mini grouper but man, they are such a blast. <laughs> they are such a blast. You got this 10 pound test, eight pound fluorocarbon leader. Look how like that rod just bends like no other. Super, super fun to catch. I mean, yes, I do love catching big old redfish that are tailing, but these little guys are pretty fun too. You just can't beat it. You can't beat catching fish. Oh, there's fish. He <laughs> got me down in the grass, I think. There were like three spotties trying to steal the bait from this guy. They're still trying to steal it from him. 
banging. All right, you know what that means. Nice little spotty. What we're gonna do, we're gonna rig up a double rig. Let's see what happens. All right. <laughs> oh shit, that was on the drop. Of course, right when my freaking GoPro battery dies, we get two fish on the double rig. Ha <laughs> suckers! <laughs> All right, for the front spotty, let's get the front spotty off first. This guy, not a bad little guy, a little dude, but he's not bad. Bottom spotty, a little bit more decent. He is coughing up. It actually looks like he got maybe ate an octopus this morning. He's coughing that up. I'm trying to tear my finger up a little bit. Can't believe we freaking caught us. The, the first double, first double I've ever gotten had to be when my GoPro died. And there we go. There's the other double right there. Pumped! How sick is that? Double rig, two fish. Hell yeah. What a day. <laughs> Today's been pretty fun. We're catching tons of little spotties. Got the one halibut, saw another halibut. Like, couldn't ask for a better day. Couldn't ask for one. How awesome. All right, guys. I just want to pause for a second and give an awesome shout out to US Bait Co. These are their swim baits right here that I'm using. Also, in all my Florida videos, when you saw me using the shrimp bait, those were US Bait Co. And the Wham Fish were US Bait Co. They, uh, they don't sponsor the channel. They don't pay me. They didn't pay me to do this at all. They just sent me some baits and they've been really awesome. He said, you know, try out these baits. Let us know your favorite colors. They fill orders for a lot of tackle shops in San Diego. So if you go in there and you see their swim baits, make sure you pick some up. Helps them out, helps out me. I love these baits so far. I mean, they've been working awesome. And I even told you guys earlier, chartreuse is my least favorite color. I literally hate this color. And it's been killing it today. So, I mean, their baits are awesome. They're pretty durable. They swim awesome. And they, like, this one has a little bit different profile than your average swim bait. See how thin it is? But it's still really durable. So it's got that really good little bay kind of uh, bait fish look. So just awesome baits. Shout out to them. If you get a chance to pick up some of their baits, I appreciate it. I think they'd appreciate it too. Check them out on Instagram if you want. It's uh, US Bait Co. So thanks guys, appreciate it. All right, well we just got done with that double spotty. That was freaking epic. Two fish on the double rig. Of course the camera had to die as soon as I hooked up. Literally I cast it in, got bit, set the hook, and the camera died. So we turned on the front one, showed you guys the two fish. Now let's see if we can get back on two more. Let's see if the option's still out there. Oh, that was light right there. We're casting, we're definitely casting out into the channel, probably the channel drop. Oh, fish. And uh, its bodies are probably biting right at the edge of the grass. We're gonna let this guy, we're gonna sink this rig down to the bottom out in the channel and see if we can get on anything else. Another spotty, I didn't even kept count today, but it's pretty nice to come out on a sat. I mean, this today's Saturday, you know? I'm not out here like middle of the week or anything. I'm out here on Saturday. It's like nobody around, catching a bunch of fish, having a good time. It is nice to go out and like flip docks and catch like, you know, 12 or 13 inch spotties, but then you gotta deal with boats and you gotta deal with like charter boats coming through and a bunch of other people or like tweakers on their boats hanging out on the dock and being all weird. People yelling at you. It's loud. I can't anchor the board anywhere because it's too deep. I don't know. It's, it's nice to come out. Oh, oh, that was a bite right there. Where'd he go? It's nice to come out and just catch fish. Bugger, go. Came and smacked a couple times.
guy. Come on, hook back. Here we go. Little dinker. <laughs> 